Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In Apostle Joshua Selman's powerful message, Scriptural Prayer Modals, he reveals the true power of prayer. He teaches us how to align our prayers with God's Word for incredible results. Feel the strength of praying together and see how it can truly move mountains. Learn to develop a structured prayer life that brings clarity and breakthroughs. Unlock the secrets of effective prayer and start seeing divine results in your life. Join Apostle Joshua Selman and discover the art of scriptural prayer for a victorious life. Kinds of prayer. I'm hoping that from this discussion, someone's prayer life will become richer because you'll be able to incorporate other dimensions that may not have been captured in your prayer life. Are you ready? The first model of prayer according to scripture in no particular order is called praying in the spirit. What you call deploying the prayer language of tongues. Praying in the spirit. Generally speaking, praying in the spirit is not limited to praying in tongues. But classically speaking, every time we talk about praying in the spirit, it is safe to assume the Bible is talking about praying using the prayer language of tongues. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 15. This is the first prayer model that I want to introduce to us as an advantage to all believers. It's been a bone of contention for many years and especially among many religious circles as to the value or the necessity of sustaining the ability to pray in tongues this has been and sadly remains a, a you know a, a reason for argument but paul speaks here and he says what is it then he says i will pray with the spirit please follow carefully then he says i will pray with the understanding also Clearly, he tells you now that they do not mean the same thing. He said, I will pray in the spirit or with the spirit, and then I will pray with my understanding. The prayer language is not the same as the gift of diverse kinds of tongues. This is where I think there's been an age-long confusion. Hallelujah. Because Paul said in 1 Corinthians, when you read chapter 12, down to 13 and 14, he says, do all speak with tongues? And so most people will mistaken that to mean that the prayer language of tongues is not for everyone. Remember, when you approach scripture contextually, he was talking about the gifts of the spirit. And he made a statement there that the gift of the spirit is to profit withal. That means the gift of the spirit is not necessarily for personal edification. It empowers the individual to be a blessing to the church. Are we together now? When he gets to chapter 14 now, he says, chapter 14 and verse 2, he says, please give it to us, verse 2 and then verse 4. First Corinthians chapter 14. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, watch this now, he speaketh not unto men. Immediately that tells you it is not part of the gift of the Spirit he's talking about because all the gift of the Spirit is to profit withal. But this now he's speaking about tongues as a strategy for personal edification. He says he speaks unto God, for no man understandeth him. How be it? He speaketh in the spirit, and in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Very powerful. Hallelujah. Every believer that does not engage praying in the spirit will rob himself or herself, will rob their destinies of many, many, many dimensions of the blessings that come from prayer. What is praying in the spirit or what is praying in tongues? You are allowing the spirit of God, please listen, you are allowing the spirit of God to use your 
vocal cords your faculties to express prayer in a language you may not learn and understand how be it your confidence is that the spirit of god is number one called the spirit of truth so that even though you do not understand what you are saying you trust according to scripture that he's praying out through you the will of god are we together now and so when you begin to pray in the spirit it does not make sense to you looks like you're praying gibberish however the bible tells you that we do not know how to pray for as we ought to that means it is a limitation in all men we are limited we do not even understand what our problems are you can be praying for headache whereas the problem is a demonic attack and so the bible says that god in knowing this deficiency in men he supplemented that by granting us access to this prayer language hallelujah so when you engage in the prayer language it is important for you to know that you're not just fulfilling a religious ritual you are allowing the spirit of god to take advantage of your faculties and to express the will of god in prayer you can trust everything that is said in the prayer language because it is the holy spirit praying through you making intercession through you hallelujah and i remember many years ago when you know before god brought us to this level i used to have the time to minister the baptism of the holy spirit over people one by one and most times people's confusion was the fact that they thought their their tongues were not sounding very professional what is ba 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 and what have you mean that thing is really that doesn't really sound intelligent now that's the problem with men because everything we believe must come through the sieve of intellect and the bible says a natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit the prayer language now you see in english every time you want to tell me to step forward you will say come so c-o-m-e always means step forward doesn't necessarily have any other meaning but in the realm of the spirit just because your mind thinks you are repeating the same word it doesn't mean you are saying the same thing do you understand this now you need to understand this now so you the problem is the conflict between intellect and spirit communication i give you an example of spirit communication two in the bible in fact number one is called mene menetekel ufersen did you ever read of something like that look at the interpreting the, the interpretation of those just, just four letter words to the intellect mene alone means oh king you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting my god so imagine what you say in 15 minutes of prayer that was not a babylonian language it was a spirit communication it took daniel he was being in, he had to interpret it can i give you another one yes, eloi eloi lamak sabak tanai the bible says which being interpreted it had to be interpreted it's not a heavenly language it was not a jewish language eloi eloi lamak sabak tanai was jesus communicating the bible says which being interpreted did you see that which being interpreted nobody on earth would have been able to decipher what he said my god my god why hast thou forsaken me so don't when you pray in the spirit don't limit yourself to the intelligence of it this man's tongue sounds nice it looks like he's the real holy spirit walking with this guy for mine i don't know what kind of spirit took over me with this nonsense i'm speaking the moment you allow the devil to do that you have been robbed of an opportunity please look at me how many of you laugh you just laughed now eh you started laughing as a baby question who taught you who gave you an opportunity to rehearse how many of you cry have you ever taken note of the way you laugh or the way you cry have you ever been embarrassed by how you laugh or cry it's the same thing they are all languages laughter is a language crying is a language are you getting it now so when people say how can i communicate something i've never learned teach them that they laughed without rehearsal they cried without rehearsal scriptural prayer models pray in the spirit pray in the spirit
pray in the spirit there are many things that happen at once when we pray in the spirit there's no time to be able to go into all that detail we are just taking this at an elementary level boy i will tell you three things that happens when you pray in the spirit number one you build power you build power acts chapter 1 and verse 8 you shall receive power acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4 they receive tongues jesus never said you will receive tongues when the holy spirit comes he said you will receive power but in acts chapter 2 what they received was a prayer language that means there is a relationship between praying in the spirit and accessing spiritual power hallelujah yeah. if i tell you you will receive five thousand dollars and by the time you meet me i give you a card it should tell you immediately that there is a relationship between the promise i made and something within that card am i right on that you don't throw away the card because most likely that card contains within it or is connected to an account that is worth five thousand dollars if you throw away the account because you are looking for five thousand dollars cash you may have thrown away your money so when he says you will receive power and what you receive is a prayer language it means there is a relationship between engaging in that prayer language and accessing or releasing spiritual power do you agree with me on that the bible lets us know furthermore that when we pray in the spirit we give the holy spirit an opportunity to draw into our lives the knowledge of the will of god that no man knows what is in the heart of man except the spirit that is in that man so also no man knows what is in the heart of god except the spirit of god so as we pray we grant the holy spirit an opportunity to buy into the mind of the father and pull to your consciousness what the will of god is part time and per season for your life this is very powerful when we pray in the spirit among the many things we receive is the knowledge of the will of god concerning the various matters in our lives now the truth is that you may not find the answer to your problem directly from scripture you may not find your name you may not find in scripture whether you should live in the island or in the mainland are we together you may not find in scripture whether you should get into a dry cleaning business or a restaurant you may not directly find that but as you pray in the spirit among the many things that happens to you is that the holy spirit is able to buy into the wisdom of god and to communicate to you that which is consistent with your blueprint part time it is risky to take many destiny defining decisions without praying in the spirit it will always look like you are correct till you find out you veered away from the will of god for many of us, the reason why we keep recycling seasons of pain is because we have not taken advantage of this provision. Are we together? Praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. Let me jump to the second model. Are we learning already? Is this helping someone's prayer life? So the next time the devil comes with his tricks to waste your time while you pray, you rebuke him and say if you did not come to me while i was laughing then don't come to me while i'm praying because it's a business between me and the father are we together now number two the second model of of prayer that many believers do not understand they do not even know it is prayer is declaring scripture in prayer my goodness my god declaring scripture in prayer not just quoting uh -uh. there is a difference and i'm going to show you now just because you are quoting scripture does not mean you are carrying out this model of prayer it is a powerful model of prayer to declare scripture psalms 107 2 and 3 please my god declaring scripture in prayer the bible says let the redeemed of the lord please help me say so what is the platform that allows them to say so let the redeemed of the lord say so what is this model of prayer please watch this so you take scripture and personalize it you put yourself in the experience of that word and you declare it are we together now the bible says to bring forth your strong reasons 
to bring forth present your cause your case said the lord and he says bring forth your strong reason don't just say god are you not my father you can't be watching me like that that's not prayer that's not prayer let me show you how this model of prayer works that you can stand in the place of prayer and you are making prophetic declarations the lord is my light and my salvation i am blessed going out and blessed coming in this is you praying now are we together you become the prophet of your destiny at that point and as you are speaking you know because the bible says ecclesiastes i believe uh, chapter 8 let's try 3 or 4 that should be verse 4 please where the word of a king is did i get okay where the word of a king is is that in your bible there is what help me say power one more time where the word of a king is remember revelations 5 10 we have been made unto our god kings and priests and we shall reign on earth that means every time you make these declarations you are not just speaking to the air you are programming realities over your destiny believe this i am blessed in the city and blessed in the country I obey the Lord and I serve him therefore I enjoy prosperity my days in prosperity my years in pleasure this is you declaring scripture a thousand fall by my side and ten thousand by my right side none shall hurt me with my eyes shall I see and behold the reward of the wicked the Lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall I be afraid of are we together now yes they may come against me in one way but they will scatter in seven ways i am the delight of the lord i shall not die but live and declare this is a prayer model it's a prayer model most believers do not have a rich prayer life because they do not even know here's how the average believer prays father you are the king of kings and the lord of lords alpha and omega the beginning and the end and all and you, you see that they don't believe what they are saying now imagine you are god and somebody just comes you are the lion of dry of judah the rose of sharon and the king of what is rose of sharon what is king of kings now i'm not being insulted please don't don't misunderstand me and at the end of it all that preamble is to really get to a point where they can bring down that pain and say god let's talk this rent <laughs> you sent manna from heaven they wasted it you sent another one i'm only asking you for rent in jesus name and the person will live actually believing that he prayed no you didn't pray you lamented agreed you cried agreed you were superstitious agreed but it was not prayer are we together because i have set my affection on him ah look if you the the key to manifesting this model is that your word bank must be full if you do not understand scripture you cannot pray this model because this model is a direct lifting from scripture you just put yourself there and make that declaration if you are poor in the word you cannot pray this model of prayer hallelujah this is the kind of the model of prayer that you use to counter negative speakings did you get that now that someone looks at you and says everybody in this unit is a useless person immediately a scripture wells from you it's not that you have to reply that person immediately because there's wisdom remember so someone looks at you and says, the way you are looking sick like this, as if you are going to die soon. A scripture just comes up. And the moment you find a chance, no, I, I shall not die. I shall not die. They are life to those who find them and health to their flesh. Are we together now? Yes. The advantage of this prayer is that it keeps reinforcing that truth to your consciousness. Because generally speaking, speaking reinforces the reality of thoughts. This is psychology. You agree with me on that? That anytime you speak a thing, the reality is still is crystallized in your mind again. You get up in the morning and you celebrate God. This is the day the Lord has made. Who made the day? Not the Lord and Satan. The Lord had made 
therefore I rejoice anything fighting my joy today in the name of Jesus I come against you on account of that declaration that means my joy was factored in the making of that day so you find two people who leave their homes in the morning please listen on the streets of Lagos someone leaves their home rejoicing and you say how are you they say I'm fine they're rejoicing they get to the office and they say listen um, we decided to choose one person to send abroad and you are the person who came to our mind and someone is frowning because a merry heart do it good like medicine are we together now but that a broken spirit can dry up the bones you get up in the morning and you declare in the name of Jesus joy joy unspeakable full of glory no one disturbs my joy and peace today you have already frustrated the person Satan has position and every time God sees that something good is coming you notice things begin to happen around your life your office you are angry your son wants to do something you are almost going to slap him no it's an attack because it is with joy we reap are we together now <laughs> scriptural prayer models number two joy some of you right now as you are here God has been telling you cheer up since yesterday what God sent from heaven has refused to arrive do you know why because gloominess and sadness has created an embargo you believe what I'm teaching you yes I am the head and not the tail please say it believe what you are saying say I'm the head and not the tail yes sir the Bible says you are above and not beneath and while you are saying that because Satan is a deceiver he will come and stand around the corridors of your mind and say with that rent issue what did you say again the head hear yourself and you say it again I am the head and not the tail and then you can add while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal temporal the court case temporal the issue of shame and reproach temporal still looking for the school fees of your son but temporal yes the visa was declined but temporal temporal but the things that are unseen unseen not unreal unseen not unreal just because you cannot see it does not mean it doesn't exist hallelujah the works of my hands blessed God gives you a store you don't go there and start quarreling and say this lady today is your last day if you don't mm -mm, it's too you you are already frustrating your path to growth I'm showing you how to participate with heaven you step into your mall or your store excuse yourself for a minute and close the door in the name of Jesus the Bible says everything I do is blessed is it in your Bible whatsoever he doeth help me whatsoever he doeth you step into that store lay your hands and say in the name of Jesus God is bringing strategic people relationships are coming to me today not useless relationships destiny defining relationships troublemakers are far from my destiny God is bringing the right people you get up and you expect favor the Bible says his messes are new every morning have you received today's own declaring scripture declaring scripture declaring scripture you get up and you find yourself that you you were somewhere you fell into a ditch and you died bring yourself back to life by waking up <laughs> that death in the dream should end there are we together and then you don't just get up and say God forbid God forbid is not prayer God forbid based on what you see the things that we keep saying that makes our prayer ineffective God forbid I know you are sincere but the realm of the spirit does not work like that there has to be a basis based on what the Bible said I said before you life and death I said before you blessing and cursing who is God speaking to this morning he said choose life choose life one of the ways you choose life is to verbalize it if I tell you choose between this flower and this monitor one of the ways you by pointing and then you can say I choose the flower 
loud enough for me to hear you you cannot tell me you choose the flower then i give you this it means i'm a deceiver god says choose life choose life choose life when men say there is a casting down my declaration in the name of the lord and add your children in that confession that they shall say there is a lifting up i'm challenging every have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to jesus or you want to rededicate your life to jesus christ as your lord and savior then say this short prayer lord i admit i am a sinner i need and want your forgiveness i accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you!